so today I am coming to you guys with another DIY um, and this is not for DIY Tuesdays this is just an extra video because I did not upload on Friday so I wanted to give you guys a DIY and so today I am going to be making um, sort of like a dining room buffet slash console table last week you guys saw that I made a console table for my foyer this week I'm going to be making another console table for my foyer not for my foyer for my dining room um, and it's going to be about five and a half feet long about three feet tall um, yeah so it's a very simple tutorial and I kinda just came up with it out of my head and I'm not going to overcomplicate it I just want to do something that is simple and that is easy but beautiful at the same time you do know that I am going for a more farmhouse look um, in my home but with a traditional you know classic twist and that I I'm hoping that I can incorporate that in the table as well so stay tuned I am so excited about it and let's get to work so here I am and I am just measuring my wood. By the way, I am using two by fours and one by twos. Um, and the two by fours is basically going to be the base of my console table. And then the one by fours is going to be sort of like the trimming um, for the table. So I am using two by fours, one by twos, and I'm also using one and a half inch um, wood screws and two and a half inch wood screws um, that I purchased from Home Depot. I'm using the Go Gorilla wood glue and um, yeah, my tools. So I am just going ahead and just measuring out all the pieces that I needed. And these pieces that I'm measuring out, they're for the tops and for the middle of the table. And they measure five feet. The top parts of the t uh, for the table measure um five feet and then the bottom part of not the bottom part but the middle of the table that's going to be for the shelving measures about four and a half feet um a little bit over four and a half feet so now i am just going through and doing the legs disclaimer i started this project with just the measurements in my head and an idea of what i wanted the table to look like um, this is this just completely came out of my brain um, so this is my custom piece um, and so I'm trying to figure it all out as I go as you know I'm not like uh, you know I'm a novice to woodworking and I'm trying to figure it all out as I go along so I did make some mistakes along the way mistakes are going to be made if you're new to anything especially woodworking and I did make some mistakes along the way and you will actually see me make mistakes. I did not want to edit them out because I wanted you to see a real life DIY video um, when I do do all my woodworking every time I make mistakes. But I do learn from my mistakes and the next time I do any type of project, I incorporate what I have learned from my previous mistakes. So that's just, you know, an encouragement to you just to let you know that in life anything that you go through you are going to make mistakes but if we just learn from them then we will be better next time around so here you're going to see me flipping the table and this is when I realized that I made my biggest mistakes because the legs I placed them on the outside of the table but I actually wanted the top of the table to sit on top of the legs as you see here and then I went ahead and changed that around. It was crazy. I had to unscrew all the four legs and uh, screw them back in. But it was okay because the table looks great. Um, and it's a lot more sturdier than it was before. So now I am just going ahead and um, gluing down and screwing in all the, the screws. My drill was acting up and the bit actually came out of the drill itself so i had to retighten it and fix that and oh my gosh i was going hard at this thing you guys because i really wanted it to turn out really nicely nyla was outside with me she was in the pool um 
So here you're going to see me just kind of going around and um, drilling everything in and trying to get all my trim. Since I met in. you for the first time, mm -hmm. you know we should work it out. You know we should work it out before I'm too invested. I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And you lock me down? So now I'm just measuring up for my trim pieces, and this is the one by two um, that I'm using. If y'all notice, I measure completely different from anybody else <laughs> I literally just mark my measurements um, with a screw or a nail I just I don't know I I, I'm, I eyeball a lot of things and I can kind of tell whether it's going to fit or it's not going to fit so I just went ahead and just measured it up um, against the wood and it, it fit perfectly it turned out perfectly um, I did make a couple of mistakes along this area um, with my trims and you're going to see on the far right hand side um, I had to um, once I put my trim on I had to take it off and realign my trim with the top of the wood because it was so out of alignment and the wood kept splitting so that was another issue that I was facing because my wood kept splitting every time I placed the screw in it so I had to take the wood off and re-glue all the splitting parts of the wood and um then let it you know sit for a little bit and we screw it back in to the top of the two by four so learning 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 i'm learning a lot about woodworking it is not easy but guys i have so much fun doing my woodworking i absolutely love it and i am really self-taught i'm teaching myself how to do woodworking and I just love it so much so I hope that you guys do enjoy these DIY videos as well and if you do I would love for you to go ahead and comment down below and just let me know how much you are enjoying my DIY Tuesday series though this is not a DIY video for Tuesday I'm going to have another video coming for Tuesday on that um, and that video is going to be how to build an easy 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 baby gate I am building that for Nyla's room which I am still in the process of finishing you guys I'm just waiting for a few things to come in um, before I can you know do any more videos or do any reveals but I do have a board and batten um, tutorial coming up for her bedroom so stay tuned for that but I am um, going to be doing that video for do diy tuesday so if you are enjoying these videos please give this video a thumbs up share it and also let me know in the comments that you guys are enjoying it and also let me know if you are trying any of these diys or if you yourself are a diyer in woodworking um because i love to see you know a lot of women powerful using their tools and i just think there's so many of us that's out there that's so talented with our tools and our creativity and everything so um i just want to encourage you that if you don't use power tools don't be afraid give it a try it is as easy as one two three um so now i am just going to um be tightening up everything making sure that everything is tightened and kind of moving these trims that i place underneath the top part moving it to the side so that it'll be a lot more sturdy Okay guys, so this is where I made another mistake. I realized that my um, trim board was not even up um, to the sides of my other trim. So I had to go ahead and unscrew um, this whole part of the trim and then realign it, even it up, 
and go ahead and screw it back in. So this is what I'm talking about, making mistakes and learning from them. Can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? So if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time visiting my channel, hello, how are you? Welcome. Make yourself at home. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know you could have went to another channel, but you chose to, um, you know, check out my video and my channel, and I am so grateful. Um, consider subscribing if you uh, like what you see. I do a lot of home decor videos, DIYs, uh, cleaning, thrifting videos, inspirational videos. I do some vlogs here and there. By the way, my name is Shoshana. Leave your name down below so that we can get acquainted. And I am so excited that you stopped by today. This project has been so gratifying, you guys. Though I made some mistakes and it was difficult, but I got through it. And this is what it looks like prior to me staining it. I just love the way that it looks. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not yet done so to my oldies but goodies. Thank you so much always for your support, your love and encouragement. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Be sure to double tap that bell so you get all my notifications. I do upload five days a week, Monday through Fridays. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share the video with your loved ones as well. This is what the end result looks like and I cannot wait to give you guys a summer house tour so you can see all the changes that I have been making um, in our home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Remember that Jesus is Lord, that he loves you, and that I love you too. Bye guys.